please tell me you know this. Don't tell me yet because I haven't done anything. But once I'm done, tell me. If you have an equation that looks like this, okay, the and you have an initial condition that looks like this, you could separate this equation and integrate it, and the solution looks like this. Yes. Differential equations has been successful. All right. Differential equations class. So that, all I've done here is, that's, is, a, is A for this problem is that thing in the brackets there. Okay? So I've, this is the exact same problem here. That's my initial condition instead of that. Okay? My value A is this whole minus K A over Q thing. And then I'm evaluating this solution at X equal L. X, okay. The reason for that is because I only care what's coming out of the reactor here. I don't care what's in the, you know, I'm mainly concerned of what comes out. So I'm evaluating the solution at X equal L. Okay. So we're almost to the payoff point, people. All right. So this was the numerical solution. So, okay, there's my, here's my, here's my goal. There's the analytical solution, right? There's the numerical solution. I want to prove that if n is sufficiently large, they converge to each other. Okay? That's my goal. All right. So let's see how we do that. So that's just rewritten from the previous page. There's nothing new here. That's just the numerical solution from the previous page. And here I've made the, um, it may not be obvious to you, but to get from this point to this point, I have used the fact that delta z is equal to L divided by, that's a really weird L, there we go, divided by N, okay? So in other words, this thing has length L here, and each one of these little points here is separated by uh, delta Z, and so, and N is the total number of points. So this is the relationship between the length, the total length, the width of each of these points is separated by and the total number of points. Another way to look at it is L equals N times delta Z. Okay? So I've used that relationship. I've substituted that in to go from this point to this point. Okay. Somewhere, and I don't even remember where myself, I found this theorem. Okay? Uh, you never know where you can find stuff late at night. All right? So you look for this you find that this, this, this exists. There's a convergence theorem that says if you have a function that looks like that and n gets large, it converges to that. Don't ask me how, why, or when. Okay, I found this. So if we look at, we look at our problem, it looks like, it look, the solution looks like this now that I've introduced this substitution here. So I want to see what happens when n gets sufficiently large. Okay. So you can see it looks like this, right? Because I have an n in the denominator, and everything else there I can call a, that a there. Okay. So if n gets really large, then I'll get ca, according to this theorem, exponential of e to the minus a. Well, what's a? a is everything down here except the n, so it's this term there, and that's the same as that solution. You might have to go through that in a little more detail to see the, the, the details of this. Okay. So I did this to, one, demonstrate kind of how you do this. So this is a classic thing you do with numerical methods. You, first thing you do is apply it to a problem you know the answer to. Because if you have a method and you don't know if it's a good method and you don't know the answer to the problem you're solving, how do you know if it works? <laughs> so a classic thing you do first is apply it to a problem you know the analytical solution to and make sure it works. And then you have confidence when you apply it to problems you don't know the solution to, it'll work. And so what I proved in this case, is that for this particular problem, as long as you take n big enough, right, n going to infinity means this delta z, also known as h, is getting really small. So if h gets really small, you converge to the, to the true solution. Okay? All right. I think, that's, I think that's enough for you folks today. I'll start this next time. Oh, by the way, if you didn't pick up your second exam, I have it. And this is homework, I guess, seven, if you would like to pick that up. <laughs>